Is that food? I'm not sure what it is. It's heavy. Since today is the first day we got in, we have to uh, focus on getting our gear transported to the other side of the river so that we can start humping it up to the cabin. Here we go, girl. Don't jump. Don't jump. See you later, guys. We'll be right back. Ashley and I kind of live this nomadic life where we're spending half the year in Fairbanks. The other place that's our home is, is up here. The river is up. It's flooded. Pull in here broadside and jump out. You got it? This is the highest the river has ever been. Wow. This was never here before. This is totally new. This used to just be dry all the way up to our cabin. So we know that a cabin is flooded. We're just wondering how bad. Want a hand? OK. OK. The bottom two courses of the cabin, they're stained with mud, which means the water probably came up here and washed through the cabin. <laughs> really bad in here. The floor flooded really bad. I haven't seen this particular mold spot before. This is just silt, the rest of the sediment from when the water went back down. And it builds a layer over everything and it all has to be rinsed out of the cabin. Clothes are meant to be dirtied. <laughs> when I was 24 and we first bought this place, um, this was really extreme <laughs> for me. I used to miss um, people a lot. Just the isolation used to bother me a lot more. Like, I didn't know what I was getting into. I guess moving to Alaska was something that was in the back of my mind for, for a long time. Ashley wasn't as enthusiastic about it as me, but she was definitely game for the idea. We came out and tried it after getting married. A few days after getting married, basically, we moved out here. And uh, I thought that was really cool of her to be willing to do that, you know, and, and um, just made me love her even more. And it seems like every time we come out here, she's, she and I looks forward to it more and more every time. And yeah, I mean, I think we're both kind of, in a way, just addicted to it now, and we just can't stop doing it. It's just in our blood and dependent on it for our psychological well-being, I think. Most of the people that are trapping out in this country these days have been doing it for a really long time. I mean, there's not a lot of young people doing this. You know, I think as long as I try to be a good student, let the country teach me the lessons that it has to offer, and it's not out of the question to become good at this. But I'm not there yet. <laughs> 